Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Eldridge. I would first off like to thank our founder and chancellor, Dr. Rod Parsley, and Pastor Edward Ramirez for this wonderful opportunity to be able to preach today. The title of my sermon is The Ones That We Least Expect, and it comes from 1 Samuel 17, the story of David and Goliath. And I think we all know the story, so I don't need to elaborate on that. I just really want to talk about who David was and what he had to overcome by being the hero in the story. So nobody believed in David, but there was one, there was one person that believed in him and that was God. And that's all that David needed. A lot of times in life, you see people and you underestimate them and you say, you can't do this and you can't do that. And you don't know what God has placed in their spirit to be able to do the anointing that they have on their life. And David, he was anointed and appointing for, appointed for such a time as that moment. So David, he got called just to bring food and water. Sometimes you have to serve in a place where you know that you have a higher anointing, you have higher skills than than hurting the sheep and keeping the water and keeping the food. But sometimes God will place you somewhere to learn something in the field. Even though David was anointed to be king, he was in the field with sheep. And there God trained him on how to fight. He defeated lions, he defeated bears, and he protected those sheep with all of his heart. And God will never elevate somebody who who, who isn't willing to work where God has placed them in the first place. Anyways, sidetrack. Um, David, he was anointed and appointed for the time that he defeated Goliath and nobody expected him. Everyone told him he was too young. He was too small. He couldn't do it. He needed the, the certain kind of armor, but, but God, you know, all throughout the Bible, Moses, he t- he he changed a nation. Like he led the people, like God's people. And God entrusted him in that. But he didn't even believe in himself, let alone other people believed in him. Nobody expected him to be able to give good speeches. Nobody expected him to be able to lead people. Nobody expected him to be able to, to do miracles. The people even doubted him. But he led God's people into the promised land. And I just want to encourage some of y'all There have been times that I don't believe in myself, that nobody really believes in me. Even like before I started this class to do preaching, I was so insecure about myself. I had a fear of speaking in front of people and God really had to deal with me. And and I think the most effective people are the ones that nobody expected to be effective. So... Just be encouraged today if if people are bringing you down and you know in your heart and in your spirit what God has called you to do. You are the one that people least expected, but you are the one that is going to make people be affected by your anointing and your calling and the thing that God has placed on your heart to do. So, so David, you know, all he needed was God. He didn't care. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that says, do not look, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers. And I think that like David, he was the embodiment of that verse. You know, even in first Samuel 17, Saul told him that he was too young, that, that his youth made him unqualified to be able to defeat Goliath, but God had already qualified him for that time. So, you know, just don't underestimate people. People have a lot of stuff inside of them. People have anointings that you have no idea God has even placed inside of them. So even if you are the one that people least expected, like they're going to see it. They're going to see it. God is going to show them amazing things through you. So anyone who feels like they're the one that, that, that people that people don't think can do anything. If you're the one that people think is weak, not strong, not anointed, can't, can't hit a note for your life, can't preach a sermon, can't speak in front of people, just be encouraged because God is raising you up for a time. He puts you in wherever you are to serve and serve and serve, but there's going to come a time where you have been faithful in the field and God is going to give you a kingdom. So don't be discouraged if you're the one that is is least expected to succeed or to be able to do the work of the Lord because God's going to elevate you. Thank you.